All right, welcome to All I Mass TV. My name is Jakes Anemo. This is a channel where you learn mathematics every day. Uh, but due to some factors, uh, the rate at which I upload videos has really uh, reduced uh, because of some challenges I'm uh, having uh, with my system. Okay, so uh, I want to urge my viewers all over the world and my subscribers to bear with me. At the same time, I also want to um, tell my viewers my subscribers that have dropped some topics to produce video on that I receive your comment, I receive your request, and you know this time I will release them. I'm working on them already, okay? All right, so just give me a few moments. They will be released, okay? Now, we have a challenge on the board, which is 4 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x equal to 9 to the power of x. What then will be the value of x now let's solve but before we go to today's challenge if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe and when you subscribe hit the bell notification button okay so that you can get notified whenever we drop a new video because we drop new videos every day in this channel so with that being said let's take our solution so you have your solution all right we put down the question the question says for to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x equal to 9 to the power of x. The number one thing we do here is to express these numbers, these figures, in their simplest form. As you can see, 4 is a perfect square, 9 is a perfect square, but 6 is not a perfect square. But let's see how we can use prime factor to break it down to its lowest form. Okay, and so 4 can be written as 2 to the power of 2 or to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x can be written as 2 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x. The dot here also means times. All right, equal to here we have this to be 3 to the power of uh, 2 or to the power of x. Okay, now that we have reduced these numbers. To their simplest form or to their prime form what we do next look at this this expression we have here now we want to ship in this x inside ship in this x inside there is a law in uh, indices that says that if you have a to the power of m or to the power of n this is same thing multiply the powers so this will give us a yeah to the power of m n we can equally interchange the powers again to give us here a to the power of n or into the power of m. So if we do that here, we are going to have this to be 2 to the power of x, close bracket to the power of 2, plus 2 to the power of x will remain, dot 3 to the power of x will remain, equal to our 3 to the power of x or to the power of 2. Okay, this has not really changed. We echo our expression or our simplification on this rule. Okay? Now, as a matter of fact, I produced a video on the uh, rules of indices. But I titled that video, The Several Pillars of Indices. And it's showing up here. Okay? You can equally watch that video. You will see this rule inside. Okay. Now, let's go down to this expression again. If we look carefully, let's make the right-hand side of our equation to be unity in other words let's divide through by 3 to the power of s all to the power of 2 so let's put that put that in writing to say divide divide through divide through by your 3 to the power of x all to the power of 2 in order to make this side unity so we're going to have here 2 to the power of x all to the power of 2 all over 3 to the power of x r to the power of 2 plus 2 to the power of x does 3 to the power of x all over your 3 to the power of x r to the power of 2 equal to we have here 3 to the power of x r to the power of 2 all over 3 to the power of x r to the power of 2. Okay, let's proceed from here. All right. Let's erase this. Automatically, this will go with this. So this side will be unity. 
Now, if you look at this, we are having so the power of x, power of x, power of 2, power of 2. So, here we're going to have this to be 2 all over 3, all to the power of x, all into a square bracket, into 2 plus. If we simplify this, we're going to have here 2 all over 3, all to the power of x, equal to this other side will give us 1 unity okay very easy now if you check carefully you discover that what we have inside the inner bracket is same thing we have inside here and it's raised to x yes it's raised to x so we can bring in another alphabet to represent 2 all over 3 all to the power of x so from here we cannot say let let we can say u okay u or p let u is equal to your 2 all over 3 all to the power of x. In other words, wherever we see 2 all over 3 to the power of x, we put an u there. So let's go ahead. This will now give us u squared plus u equal to 1. If we collect our lightness or move this expression to the left hand side, this will give us u squared plus u minus 1 equal to 0. Now you can see that this is a quadratic equation. Now we cannot use factorization method to solve this. So we resort to the formula method. So how do we use the formula method to solve this? Very easy. Let's go ahead and bring out our quadratic formula. The quadratic formula says that from here we have here, well let me put it down first, we say solve quadratically. Solve quadratically. So if you do that using formula, we have here u is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Okay, all over 2a. Good. The next question we ask ourselves, what is a, b, and c? Let's bring these values from our equation here. E is the coefficient of u squared. And the coefficient is 1. B is the coefficient of U. And the coefficient of U is 1. C is the constant term, which is minus 1. So C is equal to minus 1. All right. Very good. Now, let's go ahead and impute these values into our formula. So we now have this to be U equal to minus B is 1. So we have here 1. Bracket close plus minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 into A is 1 into C is minus 1. Close bracket all over 2 times 1. All right. So from here, let's erase this and continue on this other side of the board. Okay. So let's continue from this other side. So we're checking the movement backward. So therefore, we now have u is equal to minus 1 plus minus the square root. Square of 1 is 1. So we have this to be 1. Minus times minus will give us plus. 4 times 1 times 1 will give us 4 all over 2. So from here, we have a u equal to minus 1 plus minus the square root of 5 all over 2. Good. Now we have our u to be this. Mind you, in the initial equation, we don't have u. So we now come back to where we said let u equal to 2 all over 3 to the power of x. So from here, we can now say recall. Recall that we said let u equal to 2 all over 3, all to the power of x. And here we have two cases of u. We have two roots of u. We have the plus and the minus. So if we are to take case 1 of u, so when I say case 1, let's take this as case 1, we have u equal to uh, minus 1 plus root 5 all over 2. What will be the value of x? 
So this will give us 2 all over 3 all to the power of x equal to our u here, which is minus 1 plus root 5 all over 2. Again, let's continue on this other side. Sorry, I'm using a mini board. Let's proceed. Okay. Look at our equation here. We said, so from here, how do we not get x? We take the natural log of both sides. Okay. So this will now give us in bracket 2 all over 3 all to the power of x equals to the in or the big other side minus 1 plus root 5 close bracket all over 2. According to the law of logarithm again, which is the power law of logarithm, says that if you have um, log m to the power of p, it says move this p back. And this will turn, give us here P log M. Okay. I also have a video on uh, the nine basic laws or foundation of um, log reading. It's showing up here too. Okay. You can watch it later too. Okay. So let's go on with our simplification. So from here, we bring this back according to that law. So we have this to be X, I N, 2 all over 3, or in bracket equal to i n bracket minus one plus root five close bracket all over two divide through by i n two all over three to get our x okay so our x will now give us here i n bracket minus one plus root five close bracket all over two all over i n bracket two all over three close bracket this is the first solution or the first rule to our expression. If you impute this in your calculator, you're going to have uh, about 1.1868 uh, value from here. Okay. Now we look for case two. So case two, case two, case two, when you is equal to minus one minus root five all over two. We take down our expression again, which is two all over three all to the power of x equal to your minus one minus root five all over two. We take the i n of both sides again, which is the natural log of both sides. So if we do that, this will give us so from here. Let's go again. This is going to give us the i n of two all over three all to the power of x equal to i n bracket minus one minus root five close bracket all over two. Applying that same law of logarithmic, which is the power law, bring this back. We give us here x i n bracket two all over three close bracket or equal to i n bracket minus 1 minus root 5 close bracket all over 2. If we divide through by i n 2 all over 3, it will make the left hand side of the equation to have only x. And so x will now stand on its own. So x is equal to our i n bracket minus 1 minus root 5 all over 2 hmm. all over your i n bracket 2 all over 3. Uh, close bracket okay now this is the second root okay so this is the solution or uh, um, to this exponential equation if you have learned something great from this uh, little challenge drop it in the comments section below okay or if you have a better way of solving this within a short period of time also drop it in the comment section so that we can quickly learn from you remember you are so special and so we love you so much because you are always there for us Online Mass TV, love you so much. Jake's loves you so much. Thanks for being there. Bye for now.